we have a whole new team and hopefully in a short time uh, things are going to uh, change in a very positive way. It's out with the old and in with the new, at least for the Guam Memorial Hospital. At Wednesday night's Guam Medical Society meeting held at the VIP restaurant in Tumon, President Dr. Sam Freeman expressed support for the governor's changes with the hospital's management and the need for positive change. Interim Administrator Ray Vega came to the meeting saying he's in a position to provide assistance with his 18 years working at GMH and as the governor's senior advisor for health care. Given my exposure to the hospital, I think I am probably uh, in a position to provide uh, some assistance temporarily while they seek a uh, qualified hospital administrator. Chief Financial Officer Siva Karupeng also expressed the need to cut costs in the hospital, explaining in simple terms what's wrong with GMH to society members. If we were to produce a hamburger that is six dollars and can only charge four dollars for it because that's what the federal government can pay us. Is it the problem of the hospital in terms of uh, lack of funding? Or is it because we need to cut our costs and make sure that our hamburger price is somewhere around about 250 While he believes negotiations and discussions have occurred for four to five years, Karupeng says nothing has moved. He gives an example of how physicians are paid. When we pay physicians enormous amounts of money, Four hundred and eleven thousand dollars, and we can only bill seventy-five thousand for their productivity. I mean, do we? What do we say? Medical director Dr. Larry Lazama says he was part of the governor's transition committee with Dr. Friedman. He also talks about GMH's problems that were highlighted in the transition report. A major part of, uh, unfortunately, the hospital's inefficiency in delivery of care has to do with. Uh, some, I, I think, major disconnects. Disconnects between services, disconnects between, uh, you know, the, the chief financial officers and the, and the leadership between, uh, and the medical staff. Senator Dennis Rodriguez told the Medical Society he understands the legislature's role in helping the hospital. However, he's still concerned about the governor invoking his organic authority over GMH, citing a law that was recently passed in the 30th Guam legislature. As I was looking at the public law 3190, uh, which was passed um, in the last term, it's, it was very specific that, um, that the board members who are put into place at Guam Hospital must be chosen through a nominating council. It was very clear that the administrator and the board that's in place there now doesn't change within six months of a new term. Rodriguez mentions he understood this law was critical for the hospital's Joint Commission on Accreditation process and defended the hard work of the previous management team. After 27 years, or 20, yeah, I believe it, after 27 years, the hospital not getting accredited, and now it's accredited with the board that was there, with the administration that was there. We got to give credit where credit is due as well. However, Dr. Friedman says it's time for new leadership to get the hospital moving in the right direction. If the management and board that was in place had been kept in place as the governor initially tried to do. Uh, we keep going on as we have since I've been here and that's been six and a half years of saying the emperor's suit is really very nice when no one will speak up and say the emperor has no clothes. And that's really where we are today.